I think everybody will lose. And uh, first of all, the consumers, are, the, the people living in Europe are likely to, to lose because they don't have access to some of the best electric cars in the world. In Europe, for quite a while now, we have been putting environmental protection first, climate protection first, right? The Green Deal, everything uh, regarding uh, European uh, policy in recent years was about, you know, taking the green transition seriously. Now, if you look at the mobility on our streets, um, you don't see a lot of EV cars driving on European streets, certainly not on German streets. So it's, uh, that's uh, far behind our targets. Now, I'm currently in China, as you can tell, on a, on a delegation trip. And when I look around, I, I only see electric cars. They are the best technology that you can get at the moment. Like I think, that, who was it, the CEO of Ford recently? He said that he had a one Chinese car, I think, was show me, flown over to the United States, driving it for six months, doesn't want to let it go. So if you want to be serious about the green transition, you should give the people access to the best technology that's, that's available. And uh, competition is not bad when it comes to driving innovation. European car makers, especially like German car makers too, have been lagging behind. Now they are co-innovating, co-creating with Chinese automotive companies, but they have been falling behind in terms of uh, affordable cars in electric mobility. So um, they actually welcomed the competition. So the competition would help giving the people access to cheaper uh, models, to a larger variety of models and, and to uh, better technology. And uh, that would have been in our interest, I would say. What will happen now? Well, uh, first of all, you know, the, the countervailing duties, they also of course, hit European car makers, and um, that will be transferred to the consumer. So prices will stay high or certainly will not lower in, in the foreseeable future. There are you know, companies like Volkswagen that are working on cheaper models, but probably will take another two years from now. So um, it, it's a bad situation for, for everyone, and um, it will not lead us uh, to a faster transition to green mobility.